So today we are wiring the power in this room, which will be the utility room. So we're gonna have sockets here. I've already got some power in for the room that side. That's gonna be pulled out and rerouted. Um, we have one socket on that wall and then coming out here, there'll be sockets on here for this bit of the room, which is the garage, and there'll be a socket on there. So um, let's get on with rewiring this room. less likely that you're going to burn the cable next to it. Because when you pull two cables and they're close together, it creates friction and you can damage one of the cables, or both, so better off pushing rather than pulling, which is not always possible. Okay, so this goes back to the fuse board. So it did come out, go along here, up, round, down, and into there. Because like I said, behind there is uh, a gym room. And I had to get that going. Um, but now this room and that room will be on the same circuit. So we've pulled that out back to here because we're gonna go across here and down the other side of this wall for our first socket in this new bit. But before we do that, I need to move these pieces of wood, if you can see them, they're old doors that are currently sat up on joists. They are gonna go this side to create a platform for storing stuff. It was almost like a loft space. So they have to move and the bike has to move. So we will get those down and then start the wiring over that side. Okay, so now that we've cleared that, what we can do is we can run the cable, which is here, along here, actually, no, we're gonna run that cable into the ceiling. As high as we can go, which you can't really see there. As high as we can go, and then along, 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 and then down. And we will pop through up there, and then choose our position for our socket, which will be around here. There you go, now you can see, so we're gonna go as high as we can, and then go across and down. And the reason we go as high as we can is because this is going to be a usable loft space up there and we don't want cables in the way when we're storing stuff. We don't want people to strip on them, damage them and potentially hurt themselves. So that's why we go up as high as we can, along and down. Keep the cables out of the way. So Thank you. 
when clipping cables, you want to clip on the mortar line, where the mortar line meets the brick. That's the best place to clip a cable, right there. If you try and clip into the brick, the, the clip just won't go through. And if you go into just the mortar, the mortar can be too weak and the clip can fall out. You want to be in between the brick and the mortar line. That's the best place to clip. Okay, so comes out the board, up there, up there. There we go, along here, uh, down the wall, along the new bottom wall, and then we are, uh, we'll be putting a socket about here somewhere. So, cables in, down there, he pops through there. And then there's some more here. Basically, there's a socket there. And then this one is for a socket here. So then to continue, to continue the ring circuit, we've got to go from here, back up to the next socket, which is the next socket. Cable comes along here. Cable comes along here, and we'll go down here, and the next socket will be just on the floor here, and then we'll do another one here. So we'll have one at this height, one at 450 from the ground level, and then the cable will go back to this one, where we are the one that we originally cut and pulled back, and that will complete the ring circuit. I'll do a short diagram of a ring circuit and different ways to wire it at the end of the video. So Stay tuned for that, but first, on to the continuation of the rewire. Good tip when you're wiring on your own, you want to be pulling cable off of here nice and neatly. But when you don't have anyone else to run it off for you, get yourself an old broomstick, put the cable through there, and you can run the cable off, but you fix the broomstick to something solid, and it creates your perfect little cable runner, and I'll show you how to do that now. So there we go, I'm up in the joists. Broomstick rests on there and there. And then the cable, you'll be able to pull it off on your own. But as you can see, that's rocking. So we fix the broomstick, and then we create the perfect cable runner. Keeping it all nice and flat. Great little tip. Don't throw away your broomsticks.
Okay, so the new cable that goes in. So if you remember at the start of the video, we cut this um, and we pulled it back to a different location and we have ended up with another cable back here. So that will go in the back of there and I'll make the joint off back into that socket, that existing socket. And then we have completed the ring circuit. We've extended the ring circuit. We haven't spurred off, we've extended. Sometimes you'd call it, you'd split, splitting the ring. So um, that's what we did. And I'll now show you a quick diagram of exactly what we did and hopefully it will make more sense to you if you are thinking about doing something similar or you're just curious. This is the room we're in. This is the front of the garage door. This is currently a gym room. Okay, and this is gonna be utility. And this is just garage space. So there was a socket here that was feeding, uh, was used for in the gym. And the old cable came from here and it went to here. So what we did is we pulled it back and we put it here to a new socket. And then from that socket, so we're going down like this into here. And from this socket, came out to another socket here. And then this socket, we went up, across and down, and you end up back there. Now this socket goes to another one that's here, which you didn't see in the video. It already goes there. Um, and then from the fuse board, it goes there. So this is now a ring circuit. So here are different ways you can wire a ring circuit. So if you imagine, this is your fuse board. That's FB, not food and beverage or Facebook. And out of your fuse board, come to your first socket, go to your second socket, go to your third socket and back. And that is a ring circuit, nice and easy. Now there is another way you can do it. It makes it slightly more complicated, but sometimes it's necessary. So it's just a different way of thinking about a ring circuit. So if we've got three sockets, again, in this scenario, from the first, from the, from the fuse board to the first one, from the first one, you go to the second one. And then from the second one, sorry, from the third one to the second one and back. So you've still got a ring and we call this dog legging. So that's just one other way that you can wire a, fuse, a, a ring circuit. So that's it. That's the first video down. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be my first subscriber. Um, that was the Joe at YouTube video. Remember, a jack of all trades is a master of none, but better than a master of one. And don't forget, this is not a how-to.